In lab 11c, we're going to be using not just sequence, but also decision. Um, and this particular program is designed to give you the cost of taking your suitcase with you on holiday. I'm sure you've all had experience of this. Um, so we have three different possibilities. Your suitcase can be under 20 kilograms, in which case you will not be charged. Your suitcase may be between 20 and 22 kilograms, and then you get a very lenient $10 extra charge. And finally, it might be over 22 kilograms. And if that's the case, there's a flat rate of $50 extra charge. Um, and again, you should have looked at control structures, in particular, the if elif out statement, um, which is in the presentation, because this is what we're going to use in this particular program. Um, another thing to point out is, and I think it said this before, use good programming style. So what we mean by that is the use of comments, but also making sure that your variable names are descriptive. Okay, so really those are the key, key aspects. Are you using comments effectively? And are you using meaningful names for your variables? So I've started this off and you can see that it's going to be called extra charge. Um, and then I've just added the usual information at the top. So again, you might want to pause here and just um, get this down. Um, so just like in the previous step, we need to use the input function to get a value from the user. Um, and again, you can use, I mean, I'm just going to call, um, I'm just going to call this variable weight. You could call it suitcase weight or baggage weight or something like that. In fact, maybe I should. <laughs> let's call it suitcase. Um, in fact, let's call it suitcase kg, suitcase kilograms. Okay, equals, and then just like before, and we'll do this um, as we go, we want to convert it from we're going to use the input function in a moment, and we want to convert it into a whole number. I mean, you could have decimal, but we'll go for a whole number. Um, open bracket, type in input, second open bracket, and by now you should have a good idea of what's going to come next. And in fact, it gives you a prompt if you're not sure. So this is going to be our string, and we're going to say enter the weight in kilograms of your suitcase. Okay. And that's our first line of code. So at this point, instead of going on to a calculation or anything like that, like we were doing in the previous labs, we're going to go straight into our decision. And we're going to start off with what's known as the if statement. And you'll see that this turns orange as you type it in again be careful with case. And so our first condition, if you like, is, is the weight under less than 20 kilograms? So we're going to have if suitcase kilogram, because that's the name of our variable, if that is less than 20, these that we're using, the less than, the more than operators, and so on. And at this point, we're going to put in something that we haven't used before. We're going to use a colon, the two dots. You're then going to press enter, and you'll see that when you press enter, because this is a conditional statement, it's automatically going to be indented. Do not remove that indent, or else you'll get a syntax error. Okay, so keep the indentation. It's the same as what we were doing in writing pseudocode algorithms. Your conditional statements are always going to be indented. And so, if it's under weight, we just want to print out the words, no extra charge. Nice and straightforward. Okay, and then we can go down to the next line. And at this point, we're going to get rid of the indentation because it's no longer a conditional statement. And what we're going to use here is the elif statement. And elif is simply an abbreviation of the words else if. So, if you have more than two conditions, so if you have two conditions, you can just use the if else statement. If condition A, do this, else, do something else. But if you have more than two conditions, that's not going to work. So instead, we use this longer format. We have the if, we have the elif, and we can have as many elifs, as many else ifs as we require, only one if and only one else. 
Okay, and in this case, because we've only got three conditions, well, it's just going to go if, elif, else. But like I said, you could have multiple elifs. You could have if, elif, 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 else. You get the idea. Okay, so in this case, we want to work it out. Is the weight greater than or equal to 20? And is it less than or equal to 22? And there's a few ways that you can do this but I'm going to do it what I think is the most efficient way. So we're going to have 20, more than, equal, and then we're going to call the name of the variable, suitcase kilograms, followed by less than, equal, 22. Okay, and at this point we will add in our colon, we will press enter, and we will add our second print statement, which is going to be $10 extra charge. Okay, finally, we're on to our last possibility. And when you type in the word else, regardless of whether it's an if else statement or it's an if elif else statement, you never have to include a condition. So the else is basically the catch all, if you like, is going to cover anything which hasn't already been covered. So we've already established that it is not less than 20 and it is not between 20 and 22. So in that case, there is no other possibility other than the fact that it must be over 22. And so we don't need to specify that as a condition. We can just leave it as else colon and then as before, we said that if it's over 22, there's going to be a flat rate of $50. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and I'm just going to add a comment to say what we're doing. So if elif else statement used to decide what charge will be added, if any. Okay, so let's run this and let's test it out. Firstly, so let's put in um, a value which is obviously below, so no extra charge. You're going to need to either minimize this or close this, and you're going to need to run it a second time. And let's put in um, 21, $10 extra charge. And then finally, let's put in 45, $50 extra charge. Okay, so you always have to test all possibilities. Are they working? Okay, so save this upload it. Um, you don't need to do an algorithm for this one, so that's the good news. Um, and then have a go by yourself at doing lab 11D, okay, which again is using this sort of structure, a sort of control structure using the if, um, if elif out statement. Or actually, I think you might just use the if out statement. Okay, so have a go at doing that and see how you get on.